Bishop Martin D. Holley, one of the great men of God in this country, and Coach Lewis Jackson of Alabama State, please come forth, and also the alumni president, Mr. Howard Watkins. Good evening. Good evening. It is indeed a great pleasure to be here with you, and I want to thank uh, Howard for inviting me to be here to present uh, uh, this award. Uh, I feel that maybe I should say a little bit of uh, something first about myself, uh, uh, if you will, uh, having been the uh, graduate from Alabama State in 77 and played basketball there, and having a brother who had gone to Alabama a and and then uh, cousins at Tuskegee. But this evening is about uh, Coach Lewis Jackson, who is entering now his fourth season as a head basketball coach at Alabama State uh, in Montgomery. A legend player, uh, the Watonka, Alabama native, was named to lead his alma mater in June of 2005, rising, if you will, moving above, if you will, to, as a former player and assistant to help the program uh, to build into a Southwestern Athletic Conference powerhouse. Now, I know that you probably already, some of you have probably already read this, but uh, some of you may not have, so I'm going to stick with what I have here. He served as an assistant at ASU since 2001, uh, 2000 to 2001 season before being named head coach and was integral to the team's success. The Hornets won the SWAC tournament championships earned the NAAC tournament berths during that time. In 2008, Alabama State captured the SWAC regular season title with a 15-3 record. He finished the season 20-11 and 11 overall, advancing to the NIT. The Harness never lost back-to-back -back games. They outscored their league opponents by more than 11 points. Their leading scorer, Andrew Halas, was named SWAC Player of the Year, an honorable mention, All-American. He began learning this type of play, four-court style, as a graduate assistant under that legendary coach, late James Oliver Sr. In the next five years, he served as a basketball instructor, and then in 1998, he coached the Challenge, an amateur athletic union team that featured some of the top high school athletes in the country, including future ASU stars uh, Alvin Petway and Tyrone Levett. And as, as, as strong as his coaching resume has been, uh, Jackson's credentials as a player are equally impressive. While playing for Watonka High School, he led his team back-to-back -back state championships, was twice chosen to the most valuable player of the state tournament. He was selected ASU to continue his basketball career and becoming one of the best players in the school history. And after breaking into the starting lineup four games into the freshman season, he went on to score 2,203 points, now fourth on ASU's all-time scoring list. And after his senior season in 1984, he was named the SWAC Player of the Year, Black College Basketball Player of the Year, and Black College All-American. He was drafted by the Golden State Warriors in the third round and received an invitation to try for the United States Olympics basketball team. He would ultimately play professional ball in Australia, Canada, and the Philippines before retiring in 1990. In 1999, he was inducted to the Southwestern Athletic Conference Hall of Fame, and then a year later, he was selected for the inclusion to the Alabama State Hall of Fame. His number 33 is retired by ASU, and Watonka High School retired also uh, his numbers 34 and 35. He is the father of two children, Antron and Bianca, and the husband of ASU head women's basketball coach, Frieda Friedman Jackson. It is my distinct honor and privilege to present to you and this honor to Coach Lewis Jackson. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Thank you, Bishop, for the introduction. Uh, I just want to say uh, it's indeed an honor 
uh, to be here tonight of all the, uh, the alums of Alabama State. The chapter here uh, chose me to come and represent Alabama State on for this second uh, gala, and it, indeed it is a pleasure. But I just want to say that what is going on here uh, in D.C. is very tremendous. You know, with what all the schools are doing to help the young folk continue to push as we all would push at some point in time in our lives to, to be where we are today, it, it is a truly outstanding. Alabama State has been, you know, my everything has pushed me and, and gave me an opportunity to be what I am today. And before I go any further, I do want to introduce my wife, who's here. It's, she's the head women's coach of Alabama State. That's the real coach of the family right there. You know, she does all the coaching. But uh, and I also want to congratulate the other honorees that are here, like Ms. Starworth said, you know, being at Alabama State and at HBCU, as we all are, is something truly special. You know, and when I was a, I still am a recruiter, would be out on the road, I meet coaches from different schools and various backgrounds, and I would always tell them about the Magic City Classic, of uh, playing Tuskegee on homecoming. <laughs> and everybody always, you know, you'll never forget. Everyone in this room can go back to Tuskegee or A&M or to State, and someone would know you. And he was, the guy told me, he said, you know what, coach? You know, I played at Kansas. I went back, nobody knew me. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's an honor to be, like uh, Ms. Starworth said, in a classroom where the teacher know you by name and not just look down and call the roll and, and never look up when the student say present or here and not knowing who that person is. And the type of tutors that we got at all our schools, and I know everyone got the same pushing and continue to push, continue to push to make you, all of us, what we are today is truly special. I'd just like to thank everyone for, again for being here and this honor, and I think that we have to continue to push and do our job to push our young folk in the right direction. Thank you.